Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and this is the 20th episode in my bookish favourites advent calendar. And today I want to talk about Tintenherz by Cornelia Funke. This book is uh, be, has been translated into English and in English the title is Ink Heart. Now this is probably one of the most famous German literary exports of the 21st century it was uh, published in 2003. And the author is often described as the German JK Rowling, which I don't think is quite accurate because the only thing the two have in common is writing uh, children's and young adult fantasy books. Uh, but the stories themselves are very, very different. Now I read this like most of my generation when it came out and uh, this is the first part of a trilogy as well. So I chose this book to talk about today partly because I personally really enjoyed reading it and I also really enjoyed rereading it as an adult but partly because this is one of the few high-profile German fantasy novels and um, I'm sure that quite a few of you who maybe haven't been too interested in the previous German books that I've discussed in this series have at least heard of this one. It is a book worth reading. It's the story of a 12 year old girl named Maggie who lives with her father. Her mother disappeared many years ago and her father is a bookbinder and the pair of them get drawn into a fantasy world within a book. Now, worlds within books are one of my favorite tropes of fantasy literature, and I love when in books, when in novels, books come to life, and you get this idea of there being a whole universe inside a book. This trope of fantasy literature is executed really charmingly and really beautifully in Tintin Herz and you follow this girl on this adventure story to essentially bring her family back together. And while doing that, she meets all these different characters all from fairy tales and all these different characters from this novel. And then in future books, she explores the world within the book itself. It's just the sort of story that really took me on an adventure or took me on a journey when I read it, when I myself was about the same age as the main character. And still now I find this so charming and so magical and I can really recommend that you read this book if you're interested in story within story structures. This book I feel is the neatest of the trilogy in that it the structure of it is very tight and there is a tension there and you just want to explore the world with the main character. In future books uh, the focus is much more on world building and on the kind of metaphysics of everything and uh, more philosophical ruminations on the whole story within a story trope. But I just love how the entire book series takes tropes from fairy tales, ideas from fairy tales, subverts them and sticks them into a young adult fantasy novel. Really gorgeous story and if you haven't read it then get yourself a copy and read it. Let me know if you have read Tintin Heads, especially if you've read it in translation because I don't really know how well the translation works. Um, I think this is a fairly international story. I don't, I don't feel like it is necessary to consume this story in its original language. I, I assume that it translates fairly well, but let me know if you have read Ink Hearts or uh, the whole Ink Heart series. See you tomorrow and thank you for watching. Bye!